Good morning. This is going to be a short, short little video, but I have been craving chocolate milk. And even the rule, <laughs> the rule breaker that I am, I just won't drink regular wide open chocolate milk. I just can't bring myself to do it. And I've been wanting it bad. Now, I've tried them. I have tried the Walmart's syrup. Don't like it. I don't like the, this is what I got right now, the Nelsie Quick sugar-free powder. Don't have much flavor, and you can't get it to blend into the milk. You have to beat the devil out of it. And then when you get to the bottom, you're just sucking up all that powder. <laughs> don't like it. This is the biggest shocker. Don't like the Hershey sugar-free. I threw a whole bottle away. I don't like the aftertaste of it. So... If I buy something, I do waste food sometimes because if I buy something, this is what I tell David, I'm, I know it's money, but I'm not going, <laughs> I'm not going to waste belly space or points on something that's not good to a point. If it's, um, something I cook, I'll just suck it up and <laughs> suck it up and eat it for the most part. Sometimes I'll throw my stuff away. I just go over here to the disposal and I just chunk it and he happily sits there and eats it. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if I get a, a new product to try, and if I don't like it, I, I just don't eat it, and I get rid of it. So, I am in the mood for chocolate milk like nobody's business. Well, I pulled out my chocolate syrup recipe from my favorite period of time. Y'all know what that is, back in the day. <laughs> but that is my favorite period of time. Well, I'm going to make half a batch and I'm going to make it with the monk fruit. I've never done it, never tried it, but I'm going to give it a go. I figure a half a batch, if it's nasty, <laughs> then I won't have wasted, <laughs> you know, because that stuff's expensive. So we're going to go over here to the stove, see what we can come up with, and keep your fingers crossed. We might be having us some good old chocolate milk. Okay, let's get started. Now, let me let you know up front, I might get interrupted by a phone call. So, if, <laughs> if my ringtone blares in, I will try to mute it down when I edit so it doesn't blast your head off. First thing we need now, like I said, I'm cutting this in half, is we want to dissolve the cocoa powder. I just, I use Hershey's. I just keep it in a jar. So, it's just a quarter cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. And this is the this is the hardest part is getting it to blend in. It's like that Nestle, <laughs> it's like that Nestle quick. And a half a cup of water. And we're just over kind of mediumish heat. So we just want to whisk until it is completely. You can see how it just kind of floats. It takes a little bit to incorporate. So I said this is gonna be a short video. There's not much making of it is mostly cooking of it and I'll just you know skip through those parts and bring you back so just keep stirring it until it is all you got all the little lumps out I can see some in the bottom did you ever see that <laughs> that made me think about that episode of Roseanne when she's baking the cake or whatever it is and she's using the unsweetened squares of chocolate and DJ, he wants the chocolate and he just, ooh, it's terrible. And Jackie's like, well, you know, every kid's got to learn that lesson. She's like, are you kidding me? It's every single time. <laughs> I just thought that was funny because this looks delicious, doesn't it? It would pucker you if you put that in your mouth. So we have heated that starting to heat it and it looks like we got it all blended now the next thing i'm going to use is the lakanto monk fruit sweetener this is just the classic they had a good old sale on black friday so i got a nice big bag still don't like to use still don't like to use it one cup of that so you can see why i didn't want to make the full recipe because that would have been two cups and I'm just not wanting to go there on a experiment. 
because first of all, I don't know if a quant it doesn't leave an aftertaste. I love it, but I've never had it in a quantity condensed like this. I don't know if it would have an aftertaste. Plus. I don't think it's the sweetest sugar. I don't, I don't care what the package says, one for one. You might measure it one for one, but I don't think it's near as sweet. So, this might not be sweet enough with half the call for amount. Then a pinch of salt. And all we got to do is bring this up to a rolling bowl and cook it for three minutes. Okay, it took, well, it took 10 minutes or so to come up to the full boil and then let it <clears throat> boil for three minutes. Now, you can see it did not thicken while we were boiling it. So, I'm to assume that the properties of the monk fruit, obviously, are not the same properties as regular sugar. So, whether this thickens up as it cools, I don't know. I'm going to let it cool before we come back and find out, but... The only thing we need left to do is to add a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. This is my Diane vanilla. And I'm going to put it in this jar. Stick it in the fridge. Because I'm ready to taste it right now, but... Can you imagine how bad that would scald my mouth? Now this is a 12 ounce jar. So we'll see how much it makes. Pretty near close. Pretty near close to 12 ounces. The color is beautiful. Now you can see it, it's very liquidy. Like I said, it may not set up. But if the flavor's there and it's going to go in milk, I don't really care. So let me let it cool. And I'm going to come back with a glass of milk, and we're going to see. I'm excited. Okay, I have let it sit in the fridge right almost an hour on the dot. You can see. Let me see if I can get you up here where you can see good. It did not thicken like syrup. It's still pretty liquid. But you know what? If it tastes good, I'm not even mad. <laughs> I'm not even mad about it. Because I don't want to thicken it with cornstarch because I don't think it would be good with milk that way. If you put it on cakes or ice creams, I think you probably could do that and get by with it. But personally, I could be wrong. I'm I'm not a master chef here. I don't think the cornstarch would work good for something you can put in milk. There are other um, thickeners that you can use that don't do the cloudy, you know, like that would do. So you're, you know, feel free to thicken it or do whatever you want to do with it. I'm just going to leave mine as it is. Now, I have not tasted this. We are, going <laughs> we are going to taste this in our milk together. I'm just going to pour it in. No sense to... You know what? I'm going to do this right here. Oh, my... Mm. Oh, my gosh. I'm here to tell you. That is delicious. I am beyond <laughs> I am beyond excited. I don't know about y'all, but I make my chocolate milk according to color. If it looks good. <laughs> I think it's ready. Now it's taking a good little bit to let's see, you know what? That is awful dark. Let me just go ahead and get a little sip. We can always add more. Y'all, boy, my skin is dry. Okay. This is, <laughs> this is so good. I don't even feel guilty about pouring that much in there because it is sugar-free and it's zero point. And there is hardly any, and I'm not going to lie to y'all because y'all know I don't, I don't tell y'all stories when it comes to food because that's money and time and effort and ingredients that you would waste if I tell you something is delicious when it's not delicious. Things can be good, but very few things are delicious. <laughs> this is delicious. I want some ice cream right now, but I don't have any, and it's not dessert day. 
Hold up. Is this Wednesday? Is this Wednesday? No, this is Tuesday. Tomorrow is dessert day. I might, well, I'm making David crunch. I might have him get me some ice cream for me, for my dessert. Let him have his and I'll have mine. Even though she said it don't have to be sugar-free, who cares? It's that good. There's hardly any bit of a aftertaste with that monk fruit. You can taste... You can taste that it's not sugar, but not to the point that it's intrusive. Does that make sense? This is very, very delicious. Very cocoa-ish. It's not a um, milk chocolate taste. And it's not a dark chocolate taste. It's kind of somewhere in between. Just real, real cocoa-y. So there you have it. There, it might be... Uh, liquidy and it might not be thick but it sure is good so if you have friends that love chocolate share 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 because you can't keep this little <laughs> you can't keep this little gem to yourself i'm quite proud of this experiment you know they don't always turn out so i'm pretty excited when they do all right that's it for today go make you some chocolate milk